Royal Museum Week is a wonderful opportunity for all of those in Chicago to come visit the museums they haven't seen for years. We have so many amazing museums here in Chicago and to have an opportunity to open the doors of all the different institutions around the city and really be able to invite people in to experience uh, these somewhat untapped wonders. Uh, a lot of people go to museums, but it's amazing how many people in the city still don't participate and don't partake of the great offerings. And so I think having a, a, a period of time that the city is dedicated to really making it important and exciting for people to get out to see all the different museums in the city is really exciting. It's a great opportunity for, for families and groups to come visit museums. Um, you know, there's discounted rates to come see the exhibits and the different shows and programs everyone's offering. Uh, museums are a great resource um, in the city of Chicago, so it's a great time to come visit us. Well, we actually have several areas at the planetarium where we have teen experiences and children experiences, and some even for the youngest children in the family. And so we've got the youngest kids in Planet Explorers. And one of my favorite things there is they can dress up like an astronaut and put a little backpack on and so forth and pretend that they are going on a moon mission. We are making science more accessible to kids and teenagers through, I mean, there's a ton of different things we do here. Um, and we love having kids here, especially elementary age kids. Uh, we have a program called Young Explorers Mondays um, that has kids doing experiments and um, sort of inquiry-based uh, things all around the museum. Uh, teens, we have a whole separate teen um, programs department uh, that encourages them to come do really cool like hands-on science with us here. Um, and all the exhibits and other daytime programs we have uh, are accessible for families and general audiences, and that includes kids and teens and, and everybody. We hear a lot of times people saying, oh, an astronomy museum, astronomy is hard. We don't, we don't do astronomy or, you know, physics is the scariest science for a lot of people. But we really, you know, want people to understand that you don't have to come in here with a physics background or a physics degree or even an understanding of anything with astronomy. Anybody can do the science and anybody can come in and walk away with something new, something interesting. Um, we do a lot of great hands-on stuff here. We also are really um, less focused on the what and really more focused on the why. So for me, for example, uh, this past summer and the last couple of summers, we've had four or more teen interns working in the observatory. So they've actually been able to use their knowledge of astronomy and telescopes to relate to the public. And where did they get that knowledge from? Well, they had to learn it here. So these programs are offered throughout the year. And also um, we have in various locations in the exhibit area itself, we have some special uh, young people exhibits, you might say. The idea that we're doing 10 days of museum week is, uh, is interesting, but you know, I think part of what we really wanted to be able to do and what the city wanted to do is understanding that most people don't necessarily have one specific weekend that's available. And so being able to capture a couple of weekends within our week is really nice because um, then we are able to capture those people who may not work a Monday through Friday job and those people who really need a weekend but might be busy one or the other. And so it gives a little extra time for people to be able to participate. Well, I always was interested in, this, in science and uh, my dad had a friend who gave him books to give to me on the nature of the universe and things like that, just paperback books that were astronomy related, when I was probably 10 years old. And so when I read these, I said, wow, that sounds so cool. I'd like to pursue that. Science and astronomy has made tremendous changes and leaps in understanding. And right now, we know that we don't know much about the universe. There's still a lot more to learn, and that's why I, I like it. I'm always learning something new.